Hey guys, welcome back to the Snap Ring Chronicles. Today we're back at you with something uh, like maybe off the back wall of ratchets and definitely off the back wall of Craftsman ratchets. We have the Craftsman Stainless Steel Ratchet. Uh, and before we jump into it, if you can do me a big favor and like this video, if you find uh, this content at all interesting or entertaining, and also subscribe to my channel okay this is uh like i said this is a a craftsman stainless steel model three eighths drive with a quick quick release you see there and these were kind of uh i don't know kind of an anomaly an anomaly uh not offered very long maybe uh i think these were offered from the late 80s for maybe a few years maybe like four or five years and there were two models there was the stainless model and there was a lifetime model here where you see stainless it would say lifetime the stainless model is stainless the the body is stainless the the mechanism isn't stainless that's another story but they did have another model the same same mechanics just different material that one was like i said uh the lifetime the lifetime model and that one was uh wasn't stainless it was chrome molly or chrome molybdenum I think is what they called it, uh, like the other Craftsman Ratchets at the time, and like much like this one, the old tried and true uh, quick release ratchet, which was uh, still made when this came out, they were still uh, marketing this ratchet. Uh, this one, like I said, is chrome molybdenum, and uh, the finish is chrome on this one and like i said uh the other one the lifetime one is also chrome and chrome to uh finish but this one uh is the odd one the all stainless steel body and it came with this kind of a plastic a little bit rubbery uh handle which is very soft you can see this one is well marked the model on this was 437 you can't see the 7 because it's been messed up uh, 43762 I believe and you can see how this this material gets chewed up pretty good and I think it had a B here before made in USA it had like the letter B and yeah, these plastics, um, not quite sure how these are put together, uh, but I think the plastic kind of goes through to the other side somehow, and then they affix it. But I think that if you took these out, there would be holes maybe in the metal to where the plastic uh, sides kind of go through. And I, I'm not sure how they affix them to each other but i think that there's some uh protrusions in the back of the plastic handles that go all the way through to the other side of the plastic the other side plastic handle and these as you can see this is kind of a bat wing uh style ratchet as you you, when it's ratchet and you can see the palm moving and this is I guess this is kind of a unique ratchet uh, the switch is that's the pole right there this that half moon thing that's kind of blocked by this uh, thumb wheel that is the pole and the pole is the switch is I guess affixed or welded or somehow attached to the paw itself and you can see the back of the paw here also and 
this one has this plate over here says US patent and the number is four six three one nine eight eight and four four eight five seven zero zero okay let's take this one apart and see what's what's going on inside this one has a uh, snap ring but the snap ring you have to it doesn't to open it you have to open it up it doesn't you have to I guess pull it apart is one of those snap rings that pull apart they don't snap in you have to snap them out and this is what the ring looks like and then there's this plate oh and let me just give you a view of this ratchet this ratchet it's it was kind of people i think didn't take well to this ratchet had problems i guess there were problems with uh from what i read with the the switch because as you can see there the switch is connected to the pole once that breaks there's no way of uh, I guess fixing the switch or getting a switch besides getting the whole pole switch mechanism and the problem was is that when these were issued the the rebuild kits did not come with a pole I mean, yeah, with a pause switch, I'm, I think, I'm pretty sure that was the problem that these, the, the rebuild switch for the, the rebuild kits for these didn't come with the pause. So you would be out of luck if uh, you needed a new pause and trying to get one from, uh, from Sears or Craftsman. And here is the plate that holds the pole on this side from falling out and here is the gear and the gear is kind of interesting uh, it has this thumb wheel that's attached to the gear itself I think it's press fit right right there you can see there this thumb wheel was press fitted to the gear so it's not gonna come out uh, the gear uh not sure how many teeth i think maybe around 40. Uh, i'll put it in the description i don't want to just start counting right now but it's not too fine tooth this one's not in bad shape actually the gear on this looks pretty decent overall the there's a little bit of pitting on the outside but uh this gear and it looks like it's been used maybe for some hammering or something on the tip it looks a little chewed up on the tip but it seems to work okay and okay be careful when you take out this paw I guess you could just get it to the middle that way it depresses the ball and then you press it out and make sure you catch that ball because it's under spring tension okay okay here is your mechanism or your head pretty simple and pretty thin too this is another thing with this this ratchet is that I don't know if it was good for much because people complained about this and it breaking and whatnot, but this was a pretty thin ratchet. I guess it had that, that this head was a good deal thinner than the next available ratchet there from a Craftsman. But I guess we could put this on the gimmick tool also. Uh, the whole stainless steel thing. I think stainless steel was kind of the whole stainless thing was kind of popular back in the 80s You know coming 
to have things made out of stainless steel. I could be wrong. I don't know. I I, I thought I remembered like the like stainless steel being like kind of popular for a while. Here's the spring that goes in in the body and there's a body, not much to show here, just one cutout and there's no no steps or any any uh crevices here, just straight broached through. They bored through straight and they made the hole at the bottom and that was about it. And all this is stainless this is the stainless part, this handle and the head and all that. All this other stuff is just your regular what carbon steel whatever so this is what we have oh and let me show you the the paw not sure what happened here and how this was attached or was it forged that way if you guys have any ideas or any guesses there's a good look at it uh let me know what's going on here and another weird thing is there's a little notch here it looks like a leather i could be wrong it's like a c almost but in that notch it looks like it was filled in with like slag you can see all that it looks like it was somehow filled in with or welded somehow because there's all this slag in the middle kind of laying in that little groove there don't know what that's about but okay here's the bottom of the paw see it's kind of a bat wing there and another shot at the switch and as you know, as you can imagine, these switches would probably break or snap. And like I said, you would try to get a repair kit for these and you would be out of luck because I don't think, like I said, the repair kits didn't come with a paw. Okay, so oh, here's the plate. Here's the back of the plate. So not much here, just one, two, three, four, five, five pieces and the snap ring. Pretty, pretty simple. Um, okay, to get, get all this back together. You have to take your spring. And drop that in the hole. Uh, this is kind of the fun part because this is not the easiest thing in the world. I hope it doesn't take forever, but you get And now you put this in, but make sure that you hold the ball down and then press this in like that. And you see if it's working. Yeah, it's working. Okay, now you don't want to mess with it too much. <laughs> now you take... Put it in the middle, and you got your, you slide your gear in. Now you take your plate, your back plate, and you put that in. And that's what sandwiches the pole in place. Pretty simple. I haven't seen another one like this, another design, really. Uh, that has another ratchet that has this kind of design and now you take 
your snap ring plier. You grab your snap ring. And well, let me turn this around. Oh. All right, there we go. Now you test it out. See if it's working. Yeah, it's working. Okay, yeah, that's the Craftsman stainless steel ratchet. Uh, kind of a collector's item now. They want a lot of money for this now for some reason, I guess, because it's kind of rare. Not too many people bought these, I guess, and you don't see them that often. Only offered for maybe a few years, maybe four or five years. So it wasn't that popular and if you go on ebay now you're gonna see them for some crazy price uh you know if you see them at a decent price you know pick them up as a novelty or as a as a gimmick tool but it's if you're gonna use this to work no this this is more of a collector's item than anything all right guys until next time